Hi guys, Matt Eaton here. Briefly to say, this is known as a hanger. What is a hanger? It is a short sword um, that's essentially like a miniature saber. The blades are normally about between 22 and 27 inches long, uh, whereas a saber is over 30 inches long usually. Um, so they are a short saber blade mounted on very often this type of hilt. And you'll see that the guard um, and the hilt is very like a saber as well. The hanger was um, particularly popular in the 17th and 18th century for infantry, uh, initially for um, pikemen mostly, but also musketeers to an extent. And then in the, uh, with the introduction of the bayonet, it was still retained as a sidearm into the 18th century and until, until the Napoleonic Wars. This is the so-called 1851 pattern, um, British hanger. This is actually for the uh, Lancashire militia. And you'll see that symbol there, let me just try and show you like that. There we go, it's like a running wolf with SH in it for Samuel Harvey. It's a good, uh, good British maker of the time, Birmingham based I believe. Um, and it's got a single filler at the back. And it's quite a handy little sword. And I have been asked, how are these as weapons? And yeah, I think they're fine, actually. I've, I've owned uh, two of these, I've also owned a hunting version, and I think they're pretty decent little swords. Certainly the ones made by good makers, you know, the blade is a good quality. Um, they've usually been sharpened, so they were presumably, you know, ready for use. Um, little leather scabbard, nothing really exciting to talk about there. But yeah, they're essentially a short saber, and I think they're pretty decent weapons. I would rather fight with a bayonet, as a preference, but, you know, sometimes something goes wrong with the bayonet or you're in a very tight press or you're fighting in maybe in a building where you can't really bring the musket and bayonet to bear because it's too long, uh, not manoeuvrable enough, or even during sieges where you're, you know, mining, maybe you're going through tunnels, in trenches, all of this kind of stuff. So there are many uses where you might want a short sword, of course, on ships. Um, I should just briefly mention as well the comparison with the cutlass. So here I have a cutlass. What's the difference between a cutlass and a hanger? Really nothing at all. Um, in actual fact, police in Britain had um, hangers and they very often refer to them as cutlasses. In modern parlance, essentially the difference is that a cutlass has a dish, big dish guard, and a hanger has types of knuckle bow and barred guards like this. So generally speaking, the cutlass has probably better hand protection um, and the hanger tends to be more comfortable to wear. I should also mention that the name hanger is probably called that um, because they were worn hanging. Uh, they, these were often worn uh, hung by a sort of diagonal baldric belt. Um, but I have found a 15th century reference to hanger, which uh, as far as I know I'm the first person to find medieval references to that word, but it's a reference to a short sword described as a hengel, and I'm sure that this is the root, the root word for hanger. Um, what they meant in the 15th century, in fact there were swords not dissimilar from this that are usually referred to as falchions or sometimes as messes. They're actually not messes because the, the grips are constructed like a sword rather than a knife and a gross messer or langer's messer is defined as having a, a hilt that's constructed like a knife. That's why it's called a langer's messer, a long knife in German. Um, but in actual fact in England we did have little uh, falchions um, and in fact, if you look at uh, Miller's treatise from the 18th century, he shows someone using a case of falchions, that's right, dual wielding with two of these, and they're described as a case of falchions, but what's shown is this. Um, so there we go, it seems like falchion and hanger, and, or hengel in the 15th century, were interchangeable terms, but what they meant was like a little sabre like this. And weapons very similar to this had been around since the um, late medieval period, since the 15th century essentially, often carried by archers, crossbowmen, billmen, this type of thing.